Caught on camera, a postal worker accused of attacking a customer who said that worker was really rude. That customer wanted to see a manager, and that's when things got physical. Local Times Roy Ramos is live in Miami with the latest. Well, Janice, that customer says that he saw an elderly woman being mistreated by a postal worker, so he asked to speak to a manager. Well, that employee never called the manager, but things did turn very heated, and then that employee is seen attacking that customer on video. Why couldn't you do that before with that lady? A slap from a U.S. postal worker made toward customer Miguel Bravo and all captured on his cell phone video. The woman hit me with such a force. Bravo said the assault happened at the U.S. Post Office off Northwest 27th Avenue near 4th Street after he started recording video when he noticed an elderly woman allegedly being mistreated and what he described as discriminated against because she didn't speak English. Your treatment of these people is discriminatory. So we're going to... No, you're discriminating them. all the time. We... The woman says certified. Certified. She wants to sign certified mail. And the uh, postal worker said, no. English. Say it to me in English. The woman you're looking at is 39-year-old Chantel Ford. In the video, you can hear Bravo requesting Ford call a manager, but while she appears to disregard his request and continue to attend to other customers, Bravo waits for close to 10 minutes for someone to be called while continuing to record. I don't care what you do, sir. Okay. I don't give a yeah, okay. to no, take okay. that to the news. I don't care. We're gonna Bravo did to local 10 News. As for Ford, she was arrested after Bravo said not only did she take his phone, but then tried to destroy it. And then she ran into the back where I chased them. And they were trying to break my phone because of the video that was in it. Bravo's message to the postal worker who he said attacked him and left him injured rather than just call her supervisor. I'll see you in court. And Ford has since bonded out of jail, but she still faces a charge of robbery by snatching. I also got a chance to reach out to the U.S. Postal Service to find out if she is still employed here. They tell me they do not discuss personal matters. For now in the city of Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Roy,